Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday evening. I wanted to tell you today about, in my opinion, what to buy and not to buy at the Dollar Tree. Let's get started. Some of the items I don't have here with me because I've learned not to purchase them. Dollar Tree is wonderful for many things, but there's a few things that I have, in my opinion, have not had good luck with. The four items are chocolate, batteries, light bulbs, and some body wash. Chocolate, I notice, tastes kind of like wax. I'd love to know your opinion on it. I have not noticed it to be very good. Batteries do not last at all. Light bulbs do not last at all. And I wanted to tell you about a body wash I bought recently. Well, a couple years ago, I got a bunch of body washes, dirt cheap. They had some great deals at Target. I just kept turning around the gift cards. And I basically, my body wash and shampoos, well, actually, I still have shampoo. The body wash, I'm down to my last one, lasted for like two and a half years. That's how much body wash I got from Super Target. Uh, Walgreens and CVS because of these specials that they had. So I thought, well, I'm going to try some Dollar Tree body wash. I bought this one. And I thought, oh, this is nice. It says it's paraffin-free, dye-free. It's made with oatmeal and shea butter. So I thought, oh, this looks good. And as you can tell by kind of looking at it, it looks kind of like the bottle that Aveeno makes. And I like Aveeno products, but, you know, they're kind of costly. So I thought, I'm going to try this. My daughter never complains about anything. She is so low maintenance. Well, I smelled this stuff, and I think of it as something that is a repellent that wants to repel people away. It is horrible. They told me I could return it and just get a store credit. My daughter came and she said, Mom, what is this stuff? Is something wrong with it? It's, it's horrible. What's in this? I said, Honey, I don't know. And I said, What does it smell like? She goes, I don't know. I can't describe it. So if you want to repel people and you don't enjoy being around people or animals, purchase this body wash. Or if you are in a da live in a dangerous area and you feel unsafe, douse this stuff all over you and people will stay away from you. So that is my one item I say not to purchase. Now, on to the couple things that I have had good luck with and some of these items are new. I know some folks out there enjoy like kind of the cuter uh, planner books and they do little stickers and make it kind of fun, which is great. For me, I don't need that for myself. I just buy one of these for a dollar and it gives me everything that I need for me. So if you don't need anything fancy, the Dollar Tree is great for buying these. These face wipes are new to Dollar Tree, and I've seen them in other people's hauls. This says apple cinnamon, and it's a face wipe, and it's, you know, cruelty-free, um, and it says also on it that it's no artificial dyes. I love them, and I, I don't know why, but I love lotions and soaps that make you smell like food for some reason. They also have a body lotion, apple cinnamon, that smells fantastic for a dollar, so I really like it. And one last item that I love. As you can tell, and I actually have no makeup on today, sorry, um, when I do wear makeup, um, my face is naturally red, ruddy or red. I know I look like a, a tomato. Well, if I put this on, this it takes out the redness. And I got this at the Dollar Tree, and it basically, it kind of, you take out the redness, then you can put uh, some some makeup on over that and it really it, it evens out my skin tone basically and I really like it and it's a dollar so I wanted to share this if any of you have a redder toned skin they have these and it's called concealer correct and uh, it's by LA colors for a dollar I really like that so those are the things I wanted to tell you about today um, I wanted to also say I noticed that I did get to a thousand subscribers because of many of all of your love and support and I can't thank you enough so I wanted to say that I will be doing a giveaway uh, later this week I'm not sure on what yet because I'm toying with different ideas so let me think on that for a few days I have not forgotten all of you wonderful folks uh, also I did get to the thousand subscribers but I'm not up even close to the 4,000 hours of watch time. So if any of you could be a lamb and watch me for hours and hours on end, just kidding. But anyway, you're probably going, no, five minutes of you is enough, Dawn. But anyway, I wanted to tell you quickly, Money Making Monday, I'm going to talk to you about what not to do to make money. Also, every day, 
I'm going to be doing a shout out, which I've been doing, but I'm going to really concentrate on the channels that need a little bit of boost, that are fabulous channels, but they just need a few more subscribers. This movie that, or this, well, um, not movie, this channel that I want to do a shout out to is Decade to Freedom, which I know I've talked about them before. I can go on and on and do a 20 minute video just on their channel. The big thing that I've been noticing about them is they've been doing all these shout outs to everyone else. They are putting everyone else before them and just really giving a lot of positive support and saying kind things and that goes a, f a long way in my book. They're always happy, always joyful, they never complain and they're just living a joyful, fun, frugal life with such a positive attitude and whenever I go to their channel I laugh because I see how cute Ed and Jane are together and they just bring me a lot of joy and happiness so I hope I'm gonna link them below I hope you'll go watch a couple of their videos because I know when you do it's gonna make you smile thank you everybody for watching tomorrow's money making Monday and you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned this week for a giveaway thanks everybody love you bye